Hi guys, this is Jason here from the Nathaniel School of Music. I'm sure all of you as a piano player at some point in life have done this. And then this. And then this. And then this again. And then you go faster and faster. And then you do other scales. Uh, usually we tend to start on C major for some reason and then do the other majors which have lesser black notes and then it goes up and then you start doing minors and essentially the exercise is just going up and down the scale, ascending and descending or Arohan and Avarohan as we call it in India. So in this tutorial I wanted to present five really interesting ways to just do that same thing and have a lot of fun while doing it at the same time really grow your rhythmic chops and really know the notes of your scale as opposed to just it being a very muscle memory kind of thing so let's dive in and get started before we do it'll be awesome if you could subscribe to our youtube channel and turn on the bell icon for notifications so let's begin so the first way to make the major scale exercise a lot more interesting is to just look at the logic behind it right if you take the G major scale and just go up four five six seven eight right so now if you have to go up you're counting eight notes including the octave one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen right so either you're going to end on 14 notes which is the a at the descend or you end on 15 notes but then you shouldn't end because you have to keep re repeating it so you go three four five six seven or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and you see that it it doesn't actually add up to a bar of four and most music we play is like a bar of four so I've always observed this, you know, trying this out and always wanted to, to do a few more things to just make it sonically interesting while working on the technical things which you need to, to cross over the fingers and stuff and understand the contour of the scale all at the same time. So the first exercise just takes the seven notes of the major scale ascending and plays them over eight beats in other or eight sub beats. So in other words, one of the notes is going to be longer, a crotchet, while all the other notes are going to be shorter, quavers. So you could start with maybe a crotchet and then endless quavers. So one, two and three and four and see how that easily lines up because I made the first note long and you could follow the same principle the first note of the bar is a uh, is a, a quarter note or a crotchet one one and two and three and four and continue one and two and three and four and one and lines up nicely right <laughs> So you could do this with any time signature, I guess, but four beats per bar or four by four is quite common. So now that we've made the first note longer of each bar, let's now make the second note longer. The second note now is going to arrive at a sub beat, one and, if you're dividing by two, right? So that's going to be the A, which is the second degree. So that'll end up being one and two and three and four and one and, at the way down, one and two, da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. Right, so the end of the one and then the B will nicely line up at the on of the two. Make that long. One and two and three and four. One and two and E on the way down. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Now we want to make the two and long or the C on the way up. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and uh, repeat one and two and three. Da 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 da. Sing it. Da 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 da. What else can we do? Well, we just move forward. Let's make 
the D longer. One and two and three and these are the three, right? So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and C on the way down. Ba 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 da 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 One and two and three and at the end of the three, which is the note E. One and two and three and four and all the ands feel very exciting and very jumpy. So you go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one. Repeat. <laughs> Finally, the F sharp, which will land at the last beat. One and two and three and four and right. One and two and three and four and one and one and two and three and four and. So the A will be your last note. Two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two. Third end. Right. So let's just do it from the beginning. You have. Try to hold the pulse in your left hand or in the bass if you can. With some chords, and now I am highlighting the uh, A, which is the end of the one. <laughs> Love this. Now the B. Then C. The fingers get a bit displaced, but I think that's part of the fun, I guess, right? As long as you don't compromise on the sound. Then the D. So that was part one. Do head over to part two, where we'll discuss another really exciting way, or another way to make just a simple major scale ascend and descend a lot more interesting. Right? Head over to part two, and thanks for watching part one. Don't forget to subscribe. if you haven't already